Hi folks, welcome to another beautiful day out here in West Vancouver. Um, Belinda works tomorrow and we can't do Valentine's Day, so we're doing Valentine's Day today. So we decided to pop out for brunch and a nice pizza and a coffee out here at the pop-up village on the way to Cypress Mountain. Actually quite a cool place. Check yep. it out. Hey, what do you say, baby? Yeah, it's quite nice. So, um, they have a liquor license, so you can get a drink here. They have pizzas, a couple of other things. Not a great, huge food menu, but definitely lots of coffee and lots to drink. And it is a, actually a really cool little place. I'll walk around a little bit later and show you what it looks like. You should see the view. Now, that is actually something worth visiting out here. The view, it's Even absolutely if you stunning. Just for the view. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely brilliant. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so our pizza arrived. Look at this. This is the mushroom, what's it? Mushroom truffle pizza. Wow, it looks nice. What do you think, Belinda? Mmm, that looks yummy. We'll let you know what it tastes like. <laughs> Sorry, I missed Belinda. I went up too far. There you go, my pretty wife. All right, let's dig into this beautiful pizza. Well, that's the inside, but the outside is where the real magic happens. Look at that view over there. They got these beautiful little tables. The large lawn where you can do picnics. And it's a beautiful day. And today is an absolutely stunning day. Let's go check out the view there. And there's pretty Belinda. Hello, Leafy. Hello. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at this view. But let's start on this side. So right over there is Vancouver Island. And then look at the view. The only, the only negative here is the highway is pretty loud down there. Mm, and then you've got is. the mountains. So we, first we're looking at the, this part of the view before we get to the real magic. So that's the pop-up village, the cafe. And then there's like, a, I don't know, a plans of what they're going to be doing with the mountain and all of this undeveloped land. And then you've got the lawns and the parking area. And then look at that. There you've got uh, the Lionsgate Bridge, Stanley Park, Vancouver. And you can see all of the other ones in the back there. What's that? Surrey, I think. Oh, I don't even know. There you've got um, Kitsilano on that side. Um, UBC over there. And then if it wasn't for these tall trees in the way here, you would be seeing all the way to Vancouver Island. It is stunning out here. It is beautiful. Oh, look at and look at all the oh. eagles that's accumulating here above. Where are they now? They like all over. It's oh, there you go. Three, four, five, I don't know if six, you guys can seven. see them. There's like seven, seven or eight them. bald eagles, American eagles, flying up there. And one crow down here that's closer. <laughs> <They just laughs> Check like at the soaring. eagles. It's a beautiful, eh? They're soaring around everywhere. Wow. Stunning. Beautiful. You well, know yeah, what? Sometimes, nice... sometimes we forget how lucky we are. Oh, here's a thing. Yeah. What's this? They sure. have a layout. I don't the know sun is so bright. Are you I don't know if you can see, see it. Oh, which are, what are all those places, Belinda? Oh, they have everything on you. SFU. Okay, so what's that large group of high buildings behind there? That one or that one? Metro Town. Brentwood is that one. Okay, so that is Brentwood. Yeah, just before Mount Baker. And then behind, um, and behind then Vancouver. On the on the right. Is Metro of, Town. Yeah. So if you look at Mount Baker. Yeah. To the left is Brentwood. And to the right is Surrey. Yeah, I hope you can see Mount Baker on the photo, it's on the video. I mean, you just see it. It looks like a cloud, that white point sticking out over there. That's Mount Baker. And then you have Stanley Park, and then the high rises is Metro Town. Beautiful. Those ones in the back. Anyway, so 
Um, me and Belinda were chatting just now, and you know, it's so, um, it's so often we forget how beautiful this place is where we live, and we forget how lucky and how privileged we are to actually be here and to enjoy the stunning Vancouver, you know. And I, we were chatting about the reason why, and it is often because we get bombarded with negative crap the whole time. I don't know, I started watching TikTok a while ago, or I got involved in, I, I don't know why, don't even ask me, and real. So I was just sitting there one day and, and TikTok did what it does and pulled me in and then that was it. And then I started seeing all of these videos, you know, it's all of this political crap about the politicians and, I don't know, cost of living and it's like all negative stuff. I understand that social media loves to feed you negative stuff because that is what uh, gives you the fight or flight reaction and that's what like, I don't know, engages people I guess. And um, what's happened is that we started thinking more about that and if I, you know, I was thinking back to when we arrived here. And we started with a video channel. We always used to talk about how awesome everything is. And then lately I see I make videos about the financial crisis and the this and the that. And you know what? It's stupid. We're done with that. It's not about negative stuff anymore. I'm going to stop watching all of these doom prophets that tells me there's going to be a recession. And I'm going to stop watching the U.S. political things because that's just freaking depressing to be honest <laughs> and I'm gonna stop watching all and of this nonsense. it has nothing to do with us. Yeah and it's, it's outside <laughs> of my sphere of influence it's got nothing to do with me. I'm gonna start watching fun and uplifting stuff and I'm also gonna start posting fun and uplifting stuff. That's why I like the Buddhavos and uh, the Brai, the Bultong and Brai Club because, you know, I love Bultong and I love Brai. So that's stuff that I enjoy. No more of this negative things. Any which way, so that's my rant for the day. And the bottom. Again, the beautiful view before you go. All right. Oh, and just check here. Sorry, I want to show you something. So, once again, the beautiful view, but our old house, where was it, Belinda? Yeah, just, just like right over there. Yeah. Behind those trees there in the bottom was where we lived when we first came to Vancouver. I mean, how blessed are we that we can be 12 o'clock on a Tuesday, just out here. Enjoying the sunshine. Coming for a brunch, enjoying the sunshine. Looking at the view, check it all the boats, eh? I don't know if you guys can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen of them floating around this area. Did you get the pleasure cruise ship that's coming in? Yeah, I got that. Anyway, folks, life is awesome if you start looking at the awesome part of life and you stop focusing on the shitty part. True. And that is the bottom line. Stop thinking about the crap and start thinking about, count your blessings and say thank you for what really is happening to you and you will also start enjoying it a lot more. All right, are well, we gonna go fetch the kids from school? And, uh, I'll see you again. Cheers. Wish, wishing everybody a happy Valentine's oh, Day yes, tomorrow. Oh yes, of course. Happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. Hope you get to spend time with the people you love and hope you slow down and actually spend time with the people you love. Yeah, not for commercial reasons, but actual just being you know. together. Anyway, all right folks. Have a good one. Ew. Oops, it's a bit muddy over here. <laughs>